Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do another little vlog. I just got ready and dressed because I think I'm gonna head over to Target because tomorrow is the 4th of July, today's the 3rd, and I really want to get more of those Target tanks that I have been loving but I want to see if they have like a navy because I really want a navy but then I was also thinking I can wear it tomorrow for the 4th because my boyfriend and I are going um, on a boat to celebrate the 4th so I thought wearing like a navy tank would be really cute but I am just finishing getting ready all my stuff is like everywhere because we are selling the house so we had to put things away and get organized um, for showing so my house is like literally in tip top shape because we don't know when showings are happening so we just constantly have to be ready for them but I just slicked my hair back in a uh, like low bun in a coil clip because I have boxing later and I just didn't feel like doing my hair or anything like that but this is the stuff i've mentioned it before but this is the stuff i use to slick back my hair it's jvn it's jonathan from oh what's that show i forget the show's name but it's the air dry cream and it's this hydrating cream it's literally the best so i use that and i just felt like my hair needed a little bit extra hydration or self-care so i also use the way hair oil i just have a mini size and honestly this has lasted me a while and i just put that through my ends just because why not do some extra love since i'm putting it up anyway but now i am just putting on some i don't feel like wearing makeup today but i am going to put some sun sunscreen on and use this say tinted sun glow gel you if you've been following my channel for a long time you know i'm obsessed with this and in the summertime on those days that you just don't feel like wearing makeup because you're just going to be sweating this stuff is amazing you just mix it in with anything i'm just mixing it in with my sunscreen and it just gives your face a nice glow but it's not like makeup. I mean, it is kind of, it's like just like this gel. So it doesn't feel heavy or anything on your skin. I love it. I put it on like every time I do a makeup, whether that's before um, my foundation or just with my sunscreen, like I'm doing it right now it just like i don't know makes your skin feel super hydrated and glowy and especially on the days that you don't want to wear makeup you still feel like confident and put together sorry my focus went out and then i think the only other thing i'm gonna do is just brush up my eyebrows a little bit because i'm just not feeling like putting on makeup today especially since i have to take it off tonight for boxing <laughs> i need to get my eyebrows done so bad my eyebrows grow so fast i am very lucky with thick eyebrows but they grow like crazy so i feel like i am constantly having to get them tamed basically because they're constantly growing like crazy okay i think that's all i have to do oh i'm gonna put on some perfume this i am not a huge perfume person but this perfume is literally my favorite perfume i've ever worn it's the mason louis marie number no. four if you're not a huge perfume person this is just like so nice. It's more like a, it's a perfume oil, which I like. It's very light and it's not strong, like super strong because I just don't really like perfume. But that I really love. 
And the last thing I'm gonna do is put on my Summer Fridays lip balm. This stuff is amazing. If I know, I know a lot of people can't get the road um, lip oil or lip tint or treatment, whatever it's called. That stuff is such a good comparison. I almost, I think I like that stuff better. To be honest, I like the packaging, I like the applicator, and I feel like it does the same exact thing. So, highly recommend ch checking that out. I feel like my camera keeps going out of focus. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna put on some rings. Please excuse my nails because they are so bad, but this little diamond ring that I have on, my grandparents gave me for Christmas. I love it. It's just like so simple. And then this little tiny pearl ring is, what brand is this? I forget the brand. Shoot. R8? Is that the brand? I'm not 100% sure, but if I can find it, I'll link it below. But that's all I'm doing for my face. I already did my skincare later. I mean, earlier. Um, but that's all I'm doing. Okay. And then I will quickly show you guys my outfit before I get going. I'm going to film a little TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, you all need to see the outfit. Definitely follow me if you're not already because I post daily outfit ideas or outfit inspos or what I'm wearing that day a lot more frequently. I also self tan last night and I'm just, I feel so much better with a little tan. So here is my look for today. I'm wearing this breezy white button down from Durf Avenue. I have been obsessed with button downs at the minute. I just can't stop wearing them. And then this belt, which I feel like it's the lighting is just so dark. Well, this belt I got, um, I went thrift shopping this past weekend and I got this belt with my mom. And then these Agoldi jeans that I actually haven't worn in a while. And then I'm just bringing my bag from Hey Jude, the online vintage store that's actually my sister's. But this is the look. I'm going to try to do it in here because the lighting's going to be so much better, I think. Is the lighting better in here? I don't know, but maybe you can see my, my outfit, oh my god, my outfit better. But I'm wearing the breezy shirt, this is the belt, it's like has like a reddish tint to it, which is kind of different for me and I love. And then my Agoldi jeans, these are the 90s style and I size down for my true size because they run really big. But then I'm just gonna wear some flip flops for shoes. Okay, let's head to Target. I haven't been to Target in so long, so I'm actually excited to go. Target is always the place that is a little bit, I don't know. Like you go for one thing and you end up buying so much more. So I'm gonna really try to be good and only buy the tank that I want to get. I think I'm going to leave my dogs out, so I'm trying to close all the doors so they can't get into anything. I'm watching, I was watching Love Island while I was trying to do some emails and stuff like that. And I'm upset. It's like my guilty pleasure. Love Island. I like love it and I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's very entertaining. You sometimes feel... Oh, the lighting. You sometimes feel like you're losing brain cells while you watch it, but then you keep watching it. I am obsessed with it. Okay, let's go. Ooh. It's 
been so gross lately. I think the sun is actually trying to come out, which is which is nice. You can't even see me. Wait, I don't even know how to get to Target. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, I know how I'm gonna get there. Sometimes, even though I'm going like the longest route, I hate plugging in direction, so I'll just go the way I know how to go, even if, oop, even if there is an easier way to go. But I am going to put my camera away because I cannot drive and film, so I'll see you guys when I get to Target. Okay, I ended up not filming that much in Target. I think I filmed like two little things because it was just crazy. And I was going in for literally two things. I got, I'll show you when I get home and then I got Diet Coke for my mom and sister because we were out of it. But I finally used a Target gift card. You know those gift cards that when you spend like a certain amount at Target, you like get like a five dollar gift card and i always just never end up using them but i'm very proud of myself because i actually actually used it today so very proud about that and also very proud that i only got the tank tops and diet coke oh and i got deodorant because i needed more but that's not really anything okay going home also the sun decided to come out today so I think I have to film now so I might film a video of things that I got thrifting the other day with my mom which I'm really excited about so it's a fun video so I'm excited to film it so let's get home did you two miss me did you get in any trouble Mads huh hi Piper girl no going to the bathroom, right? On the carpet. You are so cute. You are the worst. Anybody's dog terrible at playing the game of catch? She doesn't understand it. She, under she doesn't understand that she needs to give the toy back to me to throw. She'll like, I'll steal it, throw it, and then she runs away with it. It's so funny, but then she wants to play all the time, but she just doesn't know how to play. You just don't know how to play. What I got, let's show you guys. Very boring Target haul, but these are the tanks. So I got this. I couldn't remember if I got a small or an extra small in my other one. So I went with the extra small. I just don't know what I did, but whatever. So I got a navy because I have the black and the gray. I didn't get the white because it's like an off-white and it's kind of see-through, so I just didn't feel like I was going to wear it as much as my other white tanks that I have. But I got this navy one. And then I saw this one. This is like a new style, and I kind of like the square neck. So I'm gonna try that on and I got that in black in an extra small. And then, don't hate me, but I got Dove deodorant spray and I know that's the worst deodorant to use, but I just literally fear that I don't smell good. I hate the feeling of possibly smelling bad and smelling myself, it literally freaks me out, so Natural deodorant just doesn't doesn't do the job. So maybe when I'm pregnant one day, I won't use, I'll switch over to natural deodorant just because it's safer. But right now, good old Dove, and I know it's so bad, but I have to. So that's my little Target haul. Super, super boring. And now I'm gonna eat because I am starving. 
Uh, my mom and I went to the farmer's market the other day and we got banana bread that is so good literally the best banana bread we get it every single time and we finish it so quickly why i really need to figure out my camera it keeps going out of focus and i don't know why but then we got some fresh veggies and we got some plums that i had one this morning and it was so good like mm, i love a good like nectarine or plum in the summertime it was unreal we also got oh my god i forgot we got blueberries <gasps> no We got cherries, which I love cherries. And then we also got some blueberries. And we got a cantaloupe too. But I think I'm gonna have these really quick because I want to film and then I'll have like a lunch in a little. But I'm just gonna have some protein balls that I made um, a little bit ago. But these are the recipe from Sammy Clark. I am obsessed with Sammy Clark's recipes, form app, workouts. I'm a part of her membership. I love it. And I actually got this recipe on her TikTok. I'll link it down below. But it's just super easy and so good to just have in the fridge just for a quick snack. You're getting your protein in, healthy fats. Um, I have chia seeds in here. So it's just really nice to have protein balls in the fridge already made i love it so i have been making these a lot recently i add chia seeds to mine her recipe doesn't call for it but really you can just after you get the base which is like almond butter oats and things like that you can really add anything like hemp seeds chia seeds coconut flakes literally whatever you want to it so i'm gonna have these two really quick and then I think I'm gonna film because it's so nice out and I really want to film the things I got yesterday for when I went thrifting with my mom because I got some really great accessories that I'm just really excited to start wearing. I have on one of them right now but I have just been so into accessories and one of the things that I got is so similar to another piece that I put on my summer wish list and when I saw it I was like I need to have it so I'm just excited to share the things that I recently purchased so gonna do that I also got some new real real pieces in so I'm gonna show that in the haul as well but that will be up probably before this vlog goes up I'm assuming I want to say I'm not really 100% sure but gonna eat these and probably now put on some makeup which i didn't really want to but now that i'm filming i just want to put on a little bit i'm gonna do just something very natural and probably put my hair up more in like a bun instead of this claw clip and yeah i love these though highly recommend if you like protein balls this one's a really really good recipe oh my god I just finished filming my video and I also filmed a little TikTok haul as well to post the same day that I post my video but I here is actually one of the pieces that I found and I'm just so in love with this so I don't know which if this vlog will be up before the video but definitely go watch that because I found some really great pieces that i'm just so excited to add to my wardrobe i really sometimes when you go thrifting you really just get lucky and you find so many pieces and then other times you can't find a single piece and i guess that's it's never like what i'm trying to say because that doesn't really make sense what i'm trying to say it's never like you just find like oh one piece it's either find you you find like multiple pieces or you find absolutely nothing, or at least that's my experience. So I found some really incredible pieces, including this necklace, which I'm just so obsessed with. And I love it with the button down. 
but I just finished filming it all and also I want to mention I did my makeup a little bit differently today I added some of the road products that I got the peptide um, treatment the glazing peptide glazing treatment or whatever it's called and I mixed it in with my foundation and I just love what it did it just looks very natural glowy and I have my like OG blush on I just really love it so I might film what I did tomorrow for you guys because I'm just really loving how hydrated and glowy my skin looks but I'm like dead from just doing that <laughs> that TikTok sometimes staring at because I have two lights, one when I film and one when I do TikTok. Sometimes staring at that light really affects my eyes and I just feel like I get a headache or just a little bit blurry after I film because I am staring directly into the bright light that is coming towards me. But yeah, it's like blinding. But on a positive note, I am so happy that it is sunny out because my mental state was definitely going downhill with how much rain and gloomy weather we've been getting. It's been like over a week and it's just been so, so bad on your mental state. I don't know what it is about gloomy, rainy weather, but it's never good. It makes you so tired, just not productive or not wanting to be productive, but today I feel so much better and just feel a lot more positive and productive because of the sun and I just love it. So anyway, that was a little rant, but I'm debating what I want to do now if I want to film some more TikToks. I just wanted to share what the tank tops look on. You've probably seen them on, but I thought I would just kind of do a little bit of a try on just so you can see them in the video that I purchased. But I did, I checked my other tanks that I have and I did get an extra small in them. So I am glad that I was right. But this is the navy. I actually just love it with the jeans and this reddish belt. I even might wear this outfit or I have my bone jeans from still here. So maybe I'll wear that with this and the reddish belt tomorrow for the boat day. But we're going at night. So it's going to be like later in the day. So it's not like I'm going to wear like a bathing suit. I'm going to wear like an outfit for it, but I just really love the cut of these and they're so comfortable and they were already, they were on sale too. So they were like five something like 530, 550. I don't know exactly what price they were, but they were even on sale and I thought $8 for this was a good price. So definitely go to your local Target and get one because you will not be sorry. I live in tanks. But this is the one I already knew the cut of and loved, but let me try on the other one. Here is the other one, and I love the cut on this. Like, I wish they had this in a gray or another color. They had it in the white, but again, it was like this off-white, and it was completely like see-through kind of, so that's why I didn't want to get it. But I love a square neckline, I just think they're super flattering. And I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. And again, I think this one was on sale too. All their summer stuff I think is on sale or maybe they're just having a sale this weekend. I don't know. But yeah, obsessed with this. And I got this one in an extra small as well. It is a little bit later in the day. The day kind of got away from me. I, it is like around 4.30 now. I just really just worked the rest of the day and did some laundry and I ate um, lunch. I had leftover salmon that my mom and I made two nights ago, but I didn't film it. Um, but I'm about to go to boxing and I just wanted to share like what you use, kind of what to expect when boxing, because at least for a girl, I know boxing can be super intimidating. It is a super intimidating sport to begin with, at least my point of view. Um, it is in my opinion. And I was so intimidated to start going boxing, but I highly recommend title boxing. There are all different ages in my classes. There are younger kids, there are older um, people, like literally all ages. 
So I highly recommend trying it out. I first went with my friend, so if you are nervous to go or scared, going with a friend is such a good idea. It is $15 for your first class um, to try it out. So super reasonable to test out a new workout if you've been wanting to try boxing. Highly recommend going to title boxing, but that's what just what I go to. So you will need, at least at title boxing, you use wraps. Um, I don't know if you use it at every single boxing place, but title you actually purchase their $10, your own wraps. Um, and you can wash them in the dryer. And they show you how to wrap. Everybody wraps their hand a little bit differently, but they help you do it the first couple times until you kind of get the hang of it. But that's pretty much all you need. And then they at Title Boxing give you gloves to start out. I have since purchased my own boxing gloves, but they give you gloves once you, for your first couple times until you decide if you really like it and maybe you wanna purchase your own gloves because they're just gonna support your hands um, a lot better and they're just easier to use because they're obviously fit to your um, hand. I have really small hands, so I actually had to order these online. They didn't, some, they have some in the actual club, but since my hands were so tiny, I had to order mine online. But basically this is all you need. You need your wraps and the wraps come in so many different colors. It's really fun. And then just boxing gloves if you continue it. Um, but also they have um, boxing gloves for you to start out with. But that's all the materials or whatever you need to start boxing. And I, as I have mentioned so many times, I am obsessed with it. I love it. It is such a form of therapy for me. I feel so much better every single time I finish my class. It just releases so much anxiety, so much stress. It's amazing. I go three to four times a week now because I love it so much. And also, don't be afraid to not be good the first like month, two months, three months, first year. Everybody has different skill uh, sets like in the class. There are so many beginners. There's so many people that have been doing it for years. Um, so it's okay if you're not good at first. Like nobody's good at anything when you first try it out. So it's just fun and you get to hit a bag. You get to like get build up some endorphins, you know, exercise, move your body. I just can't say enough and I just want to share as much as I can about it because it has just helped me so much especially through COVID and everything. If I didn't have boxing I literally think I would go crazy or insane. It just really helped me so much through those times um, just being able to get all my stress and anxiety and whatever I had on my mind out and it was just also a time just dedicated to me and I know a lot of like orange theory and a lot of classes it's very competitive which sometimes I struggle with when I go to a class that's super competitive and then you have the screens up where you can see people's numbers like yes that pushes you but sometimes that gives me more anxiety and stress in the class whereas in title boxing you have your own bag you're only really focused on you and yourself and growing as you're like growing to get better or just taking out stress if that it's that if that's what you need that day so it's more personal it's not super competitive it's n everybody's super like supportive so yeah it's just such a great workout and it's a good community and i really love it obviously i can talk for hours about it but i'm about to go to boxing i have a little bit more time um, till I have to leave. So I think I'm just gonna do some computer work, so just go through emails and also maybe, I don't know if I wanna start editing yet um, because I just don't think I have enough time to do edits, but just go on my emails, probably watch some Love Island while I'm working on my computer. I don't know why I am addicted to Love Island. It is like my guilty, 
pleasure or guilty not guilty pleasure what is the like tv show is that what it's called i don't know but you know how people love like um the housewives and things like that love island yes i probably lose some brain cells yes it's insane but it keeps me watching i love it it's so funny <sighs> maddie come here later in the day I finished up boxing and then I ate dinner with my mom we just had leftovers you probably saw but we had some shrimp tacos the shrimp tacos I actually have the recipe I made the recipe in one of my vlogmas vlogs but my boyfriend showed me this recipe and it's just so good it's basically honey sriracha shrimp and we just made little tacos that were so yummy and we had some salsa that we got at the farmer's market it's like corn and bean salsa and it was just so good and then i took a shower we had such a huge rainstorm after i got home from boxing but i am just gonna share my nighttime skin routine that i am testing out i just shared in my last vlog actually my regular nighttime skin routine the skin routine that i do pretty much every single night but I got new products that I really want to see if my skin will look a lot different using them consistently and it's the Rode uh, Glazing Milk, the Peptide Glazing Fluid, and the Restorer Bar um, Barrier Restore Cream. So I'm using those every single morning and night for I want to say like a month and then I'm going to come back and see how my skin actually looks and see if it looks a little bit differently. But I'm starting off with the Quartier, which I didn't mention in my last one, but this is just great water. It's just a really nice hydrating mist. It feels so good, and I've been putting this on morning and night before I put on all my serums and anything else on my face, and I just love it. And I also use the same face wash that I used in my regular routine, which is just the face, wa face wash from La Rose Pose. La Roche Jose, that's like a tongue twister. But I love this. This is actually my sister's and I've been borrowing it because it just feels so good. And I feel like it helps all your products like seep into your skin just so nicely. So the first thing is the glazing milk. And I have been really loving this. I didn't know if I was going to notice a difference or it was going to feel good, but it actually feels so good. I like how lightweight it is. Um, the packaging is actually a pretty decent size. The one negative that I personally have found through the Rode products is that they're all really small, so I use them really quickly or I use them up really quickly. But this one's actually a really good size because it, you don't need a lot. So that's kind of how much I'm using. And it just feels like literally butter on the skin. Not really, but like, oh, it feels so good. But I'm going to use it for like a month or so. And then I'll come back to show you guys if it's like what I feel and if I recommend it or if I like it but also every skin's different so if I like it and then you get it and you don't like it that might happen because everybody has different skin but the next step is the peptide glazing fluid 
And then also on top of these, I'm also using like other serums as well, like my retinol serum and things like that. But I'm going to consistently always use these three things to see the difference that it does in my skin. Difference that it makes in my skin. But I do feel really glowy and I've been putting it under my makeup, which I'm going to do a makeup routine um, with the road products and my face just feels so hydrated so glowy it really does make a huge difference underneath your makeup especially if you want that natural dewy glowy look for the summertime having these products as your like base really really does make a difference or I've noticed every time I use them and then hold on I'm about to sneeze Okay, and the last step is the Barrier Restore Cream. And I like this a lot because it's super thick, especially at the like night, but before I go to bed. If you like a thicker, I mean, not so thick moisturizer, you probably won't like this because it is really, really thick because you're trying to re literally restore your barrier so it's not like a thin moisturizer it definitely feels thick on the skin so just keep that in mind but other than those three products I am still using my OG under eye cream I'm actually getting some serums or elixirs as they call them from OG soon and I'm really excited to incorporate those into my skincare routine And that's basically what I've been doing every single night since starting this whole road journey. But I've only been doing it for about like three to four like night and mornings. But I've so far really like it. I don't know if I can totally see a difference. I see more of a difference when I put my makeup on top of it. I just feel like it looks a lot better and smoother and I don't know, it evens it goes into my skin like better if that even makes sense I don't even know what I'm trying to say but it looks a lot better I feel like when I put my makeup on it does look very glowy and dewy without it too but I haven't seen like a huge difference in my skin using these products yet but I've only been using them for a short period of time but I think I'm gonna end off this video here ending it off in the bathroom again like I did in my last video but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I am just going to be watching tv the rest of the night and just chilling and then heading to bed so I'll see you guys in my next video bye